Car theft just went high tech. Neighbors capture car thieves swiping a car with the click of a button. It's a device the law enforcement says is leaving car owners vulnerable. Homeowners in Arapahoe County called us in hopes of getting the warning out. CBS 4's Tom Mustin reporting on this from Centennial tonight. And Tom, sadly, the bad guys are having an easy time of it. And Jim, the sheriff's office says in the past six months, more than 300 vehicles have been broken into here. And of those, more than half showed no signs of forced entry. And tonight, neighbors tell me they believe they have proof that a device about the size of this cell phone is being used to clone their key fobs and break into their cars. It seemed like they just went from house to house. Donald Meyer believes high-tech criminals have targeted his centennial neighborhood. Kind of work in the electronics industry, so I knew that they had something that clones um, the, the unlocking capabilities of, of the vehicle. Last week, Meyer's home surveillance cameras caught what appears to be two young men electronically opening the door of his neighbor's truck. You can see as they approached it, they used some kind of device in their, in their pocket and unlocked the doors, rummaged through it for um, a couple minutes, and then took off up the way, presumably to do, do some more to the same neighbors. At least four vehicles were hit that same night on the same street. And the crooks may be using scary new technology. The relay attack unit, which is like a small laptop, intercepts the key fob signals from as far as 25 feet away. That unit relays a signal to another device the size of a cell phone. That device can then open the car door with a wireless signal. So they developed their technology. Uh, the thieves develop their technologies. So Mike a, Greenwell works them. for the Metro Auto Theft Task Force and doesn't want criminals to see his face. He says as vehicles have improved, car thieves have evolved as well. We try to come up with, with new ways to protect it, and they come up with new ways to get into it. So. Greenwell says car owners need to be vigilant, and he has a message for the tech-savvy crooks. There's a lot of smart people out there that I've had to put in jail. So, yeah. you know, if they would just use their, their intelligence for good, this world would be a lot, a lot better place. Now, these devices were actually created years ago to help out auto manufacturers and law enforcement show how vulnerable cars can be. Meanwhile, the sheriff's office tells me to avoid becoming a victim, lock your car door, remove your valuables, close your garage door, and report anything suspicious. We're live in Centennial tonight. Tom Mustin covering Colorado first. Pretty scary, Tom. Thanks. If you have a story you'd like to share, we hope you share it with us. Connect with us on CBSDenver.com or give us a call, 303-863-TIPS.